I'm glad I brought this little fella home for observation as uh, I took him out in the sunlight to let him bask a little bit and warm up, see if he would get more active. And turns out he had a bunch of little bitty baby leeches on his, his back legs, not really observable until he extended his legs fully. He had uh, several dozen of them uh, between both both legs. I removed those, went for the alcohol right away at first, but these tiny little leeches that uh, alcohol was beginning to, to kill them really quickly before they could even release, so they would end up uh, drying out and dying, but uh, still attached to his skin, so I went ahead and switched to uh, smothering them with some chlorhexidine spray that didn't kill them right away but it, it made them kind of slippery and encouraged them to release and then I was able to just brush them away really easily with a uh, uh, cotton swab and so then I uh, disinfected the area uh, made sure he had no no uh, large wounds under there and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, preventatively treat him with some uh, gentamicin, uh, a shot of uh, antibiotics before he goes. Just going to go ahead and give him uh, what's pretty much going to amount to just uh, one dose of gentamicin that would be enough to cover him for about 96 hours. And these guys have pretty robust um, innate immunity it's been shown in the scientific literature that uh, a lot of times when it comes to uh, turtles, even a um, couple of days, three days worth of antibiotics will actually get uh, infections under control. They, and that's been my experience as a, as a rehabilitator with turtles, with uh, uh, box turtles and aquatic turtles. Not always so much with uh, tortoises, but I don't get a lot of tortoises here to treat. But with the uh, with the box and aquatic turtles, I've noticed that over the years that uh, really it's not necessary a lot of times to put them on 10 or 14 days of Batril or, or something like that because they usually are recovered in, in three to five days and, and looking great. As far as the gentamicin goes, and this isn't unusual with the wildlife, with the wild uh, reptiles, to uh, give them a, uh, a single dose of something like gentamicin and then, then release them because uh, the, the formularies, the dosage that's normally called for, uh, in this case I'm giving them 5 milligrams per uh, kilogram, which is kind of uh, splitting the range between the high and low uh, recommendations. But uh, the, the gentamicin, the doses they normally call for, that's, uh, that's to be given every 72 hours to 96 hours. So it, it covers them for a pretty, pretty good amount of time. But uh, the difficulty here is in giving a snapping turtle an injection in the, in the, front, in the front half of his body. Because you have to you know, pull their leg out and stick them with a needle, and it's a snapping turtle, you know, and that's his, that's his snappy side. It's the snappy end. Now, I've pre-swabbed uh, this down with chlorhexidine and let it dry. There we go, and he's a good boy. But the reason we uh, have to give the uh, injections in the front half is that uh, on uh, reptiles, they have uh, their circulatory system, they have uh, what's called a renal portal system. And it circulates all the blood from their lower half, uh, uh, especially in times of when they're, they're sick. They'll circulate that, uh, that blood from the lower half of their body uh, goes through their kidneys first. You know, just in case that blood is being shunted first uh, through the kidneys before it goes into the rest of their uh, systemic circulatory, it's best to, if at all possible, give reptiles... Uh, drug injections you know when it when it comes to something like antibiotics or anesthetics 
is uh, to go ahead and give them those injections in, in the front half of their body to avoid that renal portal system. And that's for two reasons. That's so that, um, you know, if they're, if they're sick and they're maybe in renal compromise or something like that, um, you don't want to make it unnecessarily hard on the kidneys because then you're going to have a, a pretty full strength uh, drug going uh, right through their kidneys before it's even, you know, gone through the liver. So uh, that's that's one of the drawbacks, and then secondarily is is that you have got the kidneys is going to be filtering out your drug whenever you need it in the in the circulation to make them better. So that's that's why we do that. You'll you know if you if you've uh, uh, owned reptiles for any amount of time, or, you know you may you may have heard this about giving them the uh, the shots in the front half, and that's that's the reason for that, so that it goes you know, all through their body and doesn't go uh, right to their kidneys right away.